What up? Just give me two seconds. <laughs> yeah sure so encore mode is the new dlc mode added in sonic mania plus and it's essentially a revamp of the original 12 zones with little tweaks here and there, and the new addition of the swap mechanic, which you can switch your partners on the fly, and you can recruit other members to your roster and play through the game that way. So the lives, lives in, tra in the traditional sense are, aren't a thing, and the lives are dependent on how much characters you have in your lineup. So we're going to be shuffling through characters and just getting through the levels as fast as we can. Yep, absolutely. And so, all right, I will get us set up and ready for time. Uh, are you ready to go? Uh, I'm ready to go, yeah. All right, well, good luck to you. And in three, two, one, go. Go. So starting off, um, so starting off, um, the one new zone that was quote-unquote new zone is Angel Island, which was omitted from the original Mania and just referred to a cutscene. But now we get a little small glimpse of Angel Island, but more of a tutorial level than anything. Um, it's not that long, it, we're essentially just, we just finish it right there and then, but they're used as a basis to um, get us used to the new partner mechanic, because we've released Mighty and Ray to make use of this mechanic. Um, we're not going to be using Mighty at any point in this run, unfortunately, since his ability doesn't serve us any use whatsoever. But Ray is a different case. Ray has the ability of Flight, which is the most busted <laughs> kind of ability you can possibly ask for in a game like this when it comes to speed. Um, we'll show an example of this right now, if I don't mess this up. So normally you would have to actually get through a couple of obstacles here and there, but with Flight, uh, Ray doesn't really... <laughs> Alright, so honestly, this is one of the more harder tricks, harder flights in the game, just because you normally don't have rings at this point, so you want to make sure you don't bump into anything like that. But outside of that, um, that's, a <laughs> that's a decent... Uh, showcase of what Ray can do, and also what can go wrong if things go wrong. Um, so, there is a set combination of characters we're gonna want. We're gonna have to grab Tails here, because, uh, spoiler alert, Tails and Ray are the, is the best combination for this speedrun. They offer a good combination of horizontal and vertical flight in this run. So, we're gonna have to want to get tailed as quick as we can. And luckily, there's one right in our way. This level, pretty straightforward. Um, one thing to point out is we're gonna grab a pair of speed shoes later on the run in this level, which normally is blocked off exclusively for Knuckles. But, uh, taking advantage of physics in this game, and just mechanics, you can just kind of have, um, Sonic drop dash at a very tight pixel of this wall up above here. It's a really tight window to get, if I can get it. Come on. Be a good boy. There we go. But yeah, normally that's supposed to be for Knuckles only, and only Knuckles, but we don't have them at that point, so we're just gonna get there the the hard way. Grab Dash here. And now we enter the final boss of <laughs> uh, Sonic 2, but it's no pushover since his hit feet does not have a hitbox. Kind of a iffy uh, Green Hill one, uh, Green Hill 2, but that's fine. Using Ray's flight to reach up capsules. That's one decent use of Ray. If there's a capsule above us, we can just 
make use of our characters to reach them much quicker before they land. Uh, straightforward level here, just uh, obtain speed boosts up these slopes, get a good switch with, to Sonic, because we're going to want to get rid of him on this very act. There is a swap monitor, which I should explain the monitor. So there are character boxes, which contains the characters we can use and add to our lineup. And what we just hit is a swap box, so it just gets rid of our primary character and switches it with a character first in line in, in our backup. So now we have Sonic in the back, and now we have the two head honchos in the run that we're going to see for the majority. Uh, say hello to damage boost the boss. Can't, not really much to say here. Just, uh... Get hit, let him get hit. Not much to it. So, Encore mode is looking a little... Nothing crazy now, but this is the first instance where we're going to be introduced to a new glitch or a new exploit called, well, we dub it partner clipping. So, if we call in our partner on a very corner of a ceiling, you can clip them through other terrain of the level, skipping huge chunks. And we're going to be using this very, very frequently. This is such a busted ability to take advantage of. A uh, little sloppy here, but that's alright. We're gonna wanna do another partner swap here, so we want Tails to get out the way. Uh, don't be... don't be that way. Do another one right here. Switch to Ray. Bring back Tails. Do it again. Jump up here. Manipulate swap Path Swappers. Bring in Ray. And look, I don't have to do Puyo. So that's a good example of how busted this category is. Um, so after all that, we're going to be introduced to another... Well, if I get it first try, that'd be great. Um, so there's a glitch, which we would like to dub Death Collision, or, or Zombie Glitch. If you die, but on the same frame, or the next frame I should say, get interrupted by something, we can do this. Oh. You can do that. So what that does is removes all of your primary character's collision, including the screen lock. So we're on our way to skip the longest boss in the game by going backwards to the end of the stage. So it's hard to gauge what I'm doing, but I am doing inputs to line myself up to the end of the level without going too far. If I can do this right. Come on, be nice. Be a good boy, Ray. Just hit that signpost. Hey, there you go. A level that normally takes more than two minutes, you can beat in less than a minute. Unfortunately, I didn't beat in a minute, but, you know, that shows how much you can actually save in that fight. Or in that level. Um, straightforward level here. Ray showcases a lot of speed and uh, and his fight ability. We'll be doing another partner um, clip that will save a good amount of time later on. We an unfortunate bump there, but that's fine. Um, normally we would have to go around a long path to get to a, a certain point in the level. But with partner swapping, we could negate that and just skip a good portion of the level. Like so. Thanks for the good luck, A and everyone else who said good luck. Ugh, oh, okay. Um, there's a way to skip a good part of this an this funnel's animation if you enter it at a good point, but I unfortunately did not do that. But it's not a big time loss. Um, good reason why we have Tails here is not only for easy partner swapping or uh, partner clipping, but also to make use of 
is fight for bosses like such as this. Which normally other characters would have trouble reaching him. Get the capsule buff. And that is Studiopolis. One of the few new zones of this game. Which I forgot to mention. Um, this is Ray's favorite zone. This is where you can see Ray shine. Um, so there is a lot of section in the if, by flying under the flying battery, and it's very precise. Act one isn't much of a pushover compared to Act two, but things could still go wrong if things just wants to not go my way. So hopefully this goes right. There you go. That's the easy version. The hard, the hard version is an act two. I'm making my best efforts to destroy a fat body. <laughs> but yeah, um, so rest is just uh, meandering up the battery. Nothing crazy besides this random teleport swap here. For some reason, if you push an object while your partner is pushing against a wall as well, you actually teleport them vertically where you are. Or at least in the same horizontal, but they just get teleported where you're standing, which is pretty interesting. And it makes that part a little fast if you miss up the jump. We demand mighty. Uh, I don't know. If he had a better ability, I would consider it. But yeah. Uh, so Act Two. Now this is. Now this is the the meat and potatoes of the run. This is very infamous. Uh, this was ran at AGDQ 2019, and it was quite a show of how how much this this part ruined some of us. Also, we're grabbing knuckles here for a clip later on. Normally, I don't like to just have to be quiet for certain sections, but these are uh, one of the few examples just because of. Of uh, things go wrong. It's very tricky flight, so give me a minute. That's part one. Hey, that's part two. So that skips the spider boss, which uh, it's, it's a very good time save, I should say. I'm glad I got it first try. So, moving on to Press Garden. Very linear level, not much to say, other than partner clips here and there. Um, personal bias, I don't like this stage. Personally, my least favorite of the whole game. But, outside of that, it's, it's an okay level. I don't like the corridor style, encased way the level is, but that's, that's just me. I know a lot of people who really love this level, but I'm just not one of them. Act 2 I do like, though. Getting through this. Say hello to the most finicky partner clip in the game, IMO. Okay, thankfully he's stuck in. There's a good chance where they just don't want to stick in. You'll get the clip. Oh, don't go that way, Tails. But other times they don't clip in, even though you clipped in just fun just right. Which can get pretty annoying. It's a very vertical base level, so it's just uh, a lot of partner clippings here and there. Uh, little bad little ascension here. I'm gonna call Ray, because he's gonna be good for this part. Roll down. Fly up. Uh, that's unfortunate. If you landed, if I landed much better, I can just run up that slope. Save me a good amount of time, but that's all right. Say hi to the boss and say hi of me going through these boxes. Oh no, tails! You're supposed to hit him. Oh, there you go. Yeah, not much going on here. Um, so normally the transition for Act 2, you would slowly walk to the right, but
but if you're in the air after this time bonus finishes and you spin Nash to the right, you can skip the slow walk transition, which is very fast. This level has a lot of routes people can take. More or less are the same speed, but I prefer top route. I think it's more flashier. I guess I'm just more used to it, period. Get up here. Time to jump there. Jump. Roll. Jump. We want, these f we want this fire shield to melt the ice later. For right here. You want to make sure not to get hit by these little shuriken things, whatever. Whatever they are. We're going to try to do a boss skip here. Get it? Yes, I did. Which would allow us to fly right over the boss and hit the capsule below. Ray unfortunately missed. What a scoundrel. But yeah, what, that, what I did was pass a trigger that would lock the screen lock vertically. So I can fly over the boss and just hit the capsule right there. Moving on to Stardust. Um, very simple level outside of, you know, Ray just doing his thing. Grab that. Speed shoes. Not speed shoes, the little speed ramp. A lot of paths are closed in by these little, I guess, I don't know, these little wheel things that you find in Marble Garden and Sonic 3. So we have to turn a few of them. In original mania, you don't in the original mania mode of the level, there's not any point where you have to do this, but Encore you're gonna have to. Use a little flight here. I love this flight. It's really cool. No one does it because it saves no time, but I like doing it because it's a thing you can do. Right there as well. Jump. Jump. Enter this hole right here. Enter it slowly though. But oh well. Say hello to that thing in Sonic C. I don't know its name. Firefly? I'm not good at enemy, <laughs> enemy names. Oh yeah, for sure, Kirby. And Old Mania 1.0, the very first version of the game on console, there's a chance you can softlock by getting stuck in a ball form. Don't know why it happens, but I'm glad it doesn't happen now. Also, I meant to have Ray for this part, so I'm going to have to switch real fast because I want to showcase the best way to do this level. Uh, that's close. There's a red spring you can you could have landed there, which would have been much better. But that's actually not bad at all. That's a cool cat way of doing Stardust. So say hello to Metal Sonic. Um, we're gonna try to skip him, or at least half of his fight. He has two phases. Well, three of you count this chase scene, but there's a phase where you fight um, Silver Sonic, which is from the Game Gear Sonic games. And there is a wall we can partner clip into, which we're allowed to go straight to his final phase. Also, that was a terrible flight I did, so this is going to be a little slow. At least slower than normal. Get away, metal. No one likes you. Two, three. Ah, oh, miss that. That's fine. There, that's what it's supposed to look like. There is a chance you can soft lock this if you enter this final phase at the wrong time. You have to make sure he's on the left side, not on the right, which can cause a uh, soft lock. So I avoided it there, so that's pretty good. With a good audio cue, you can not worry about falling to the left side. Behind Metal Sonic, there is an empty <laughs> spot where there's no floor, and if you enter that part, you will fall and die. So I just try to get hits in before um, I get hit. So that worked out really well. Hydro 2, I mean Hydro, Hydro Zone, I should say. We're gonna do our second death collision glitch, aka zombie glitch, by drowning. It's 
very tricky to do. It's a little tight timing, so we're gonna make sure we get this. So here's another instance where I want to just be a little quiet here, just so I can make sure I can get this. One tr one bad thing about Encore mode, or one scary thing about Encore, is um, you want to keep your lineup at all times. You don't want to lose Ray. You don't want to lose Tails at any point. So what this means is if we die. Nine times out of ten, we're gonna have to restart the entire level just to make sure we don't have to go out of our way to grab Tails and Reagan. And since we're far into the level to do this glitch, we want to make sure we get this. If not, I would have to restart. So let's time this. There we go. If you release the enemy's grass right when you drown and before he blows up, you can get this glitch. Once again, once more. Um, so we're gonna fly upwards to the ceiling of the level to just get to a boundary where we can just fly through the level. So now, you know, objects are not gonna be a thing, especially invisible walls that are normally in the way on ceiling, such as so. So you can fly to the boss arena. We can't skip this trigger, but we can we are gonna skip the boss though. <laughs> Tails is a rebel in Sonic 3, so but in this game he's a worthy adversary. Spin that from here. And no boss fight. Huzzah. And also because of this glitch, we can have full control during segments that are normally locked. Which, you know, time bonuses or pause screens. Um, Hydra 2, uh, other than a really swag flight in this level, um, not much to say besides uh, a boss strat we'll do later on. Hopefully I can get this uh, flight. This is my favorite flight in the game. Aw, oh, I didn't get it. Uh, sometimes it can go wrong, but it's not too bad if you miss it, as long as you can just get up there like the second time. I soiled it, but it's not too bad. So after this, um, we're gonna do a, a, a little sloop clip here. Well, slope click clip. There's not much in this run. I think this is probably the only level where you actually do something like this right here, which skips a good section. Not sure why it even happens. It's it's just something you can do there, which I'm thankful for. Okay, so normally you would have to wait long cycles for you to actually damage this boss with the bombs. But there's a little strat we can do here. If we time Tails just right, we can have him at a distance, which would have him touch the first bomb, and we'll touch the second. Call in Tails, unfortunately not getting the damage boost. So it's possible to get three hits there, opposed to two, or one. Which would save a good amount of time if we could have pulled it off. But you know, Tails being a schmuck, he didn't want to hit the boss. Each of these cycles wastes like 8 seconds, so not getting the hit is actually a big deal in an actual run. So a little annoyed I didn't get it, but what can you do? Okay, Tails drowning is a little annoying, because I want to actually have him here. Tails, focus. Get 4 hits here. There is a strat to jump into the enemy, but personally I don't like doing that. I'm actually very bad at it. Also, that's very bad. If um, if I didn't fly there, there was a chance I would have gotten that last eighth hit. These swirl pulls waste is eight seconds every time it's done, so that's unfortunate. But other than that, it was a good stage. So this is the only cutscene you cannot skip in this game for whatever reason, so... We have to make sure we hold right just to trigger the transition. 
Garage Saloon 1, the only new stage introduced in Encore mode. Because normally, in Mania mode, there is a- ooh, don't do that. Normally, there is a plane section where Sonic, Tails, Mighty, and Array takes on Mania mode of, of Mirage Saloon 1. And Knuckles has his own version, but since um, they have to accommodate every character for a level, they just introduce a brand new zone. So there's a partner clip here, which skips a good uh, majority of the level. We're gonna try to do. Here we go. There's a tricky special stage ring up here that we want to make sure not to hit. There you go. Confirmed bad ending. Ouch. The rest is just flying to the right, approaching the gun. There we go. You may remember this this feller from Planet of uh, Sonic Chaos. I believe that's the game he's from. There we go. A little sloppy boss there, but that's fine. Akin to Press Garden 2, you can skip the walking transition. It doesn't save as much time, but it's still possible. Like that, you can just jump right there without slowly waiting. Um, very quick level here. One of my favorite levels to speedrun because it's very fast. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't get a really good uh, slope jump there. Which would save a good amount of time if you can get it. Ooh, bad, bad jump there. Alright, that's fine. Just meander over here. Avoid these bar stools. Except I didn't. Bad timing on my part. Okay, we're gonna do a boss skip here. One of the more easier ones. There we go. If we have Tails enter the boss arena and spin Nash to the right, we can trigger... We can have him touch the capsule from below, off-screen. It's so... It's so... Simple. I wonder if the devs actually kind of knew that existed, but who knows. So, Oil Ocean 1, not much to say here. Very simple level outside of trying to avoid that special stage ring, which can happen. Also, there's one extra box that is in Encore mode that we haven't, I haven't talked about, and that's random boxes, which we want to avoid like the plague. We don't want to mess up our partner order, and this is the one time where it's possible to accidentally hit it right there. So we want to make sure that we avoid that, and after that, we don't have to really worry about it at that point. Outside of that, very simple, straightforward level. So now we have this worthless guy right here, Bob the Builder. Uh, can't even get an attack off, how unfortunate. I mean, I did get hit, so joke's on me. There is a boss skip for this level. It's one of the more trickier ones to pull off. Um, we're going to be abusing pass swaps to try to lose the collision of this level and just f glide to the end. It's very tricky to pull off, so let's see if we can get it. Ah, Ray. Okay. There's. Oh no! I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> okay. Well, I have to improvise now. I did not mean to grab Knuckles here. All right. Well, we're gonna see what we're gonna do here. We can still do a boss skip, but we're gonna have to do the the easy way to do it. Uh. Okay. I'm currently thinking what I should be doing here. So. What we can do here, have Knuckles get past here, which is a usual trigger here to lock the screen lock. Thus, we can fly over. 
Now the bad thing is, I want to hit Ray for this, so this is gonna be a really awkward last uh, <laughs> three zones here. But we'll see what happens. So you may notice that uh, the music has is not has not started playing, and the timer is not moving. That's because skipping this boss fight, the game doesn't think we finished the level yet. So in order to remedy this, we're going to have to die, which is why I wanted Ray for this. I don't want Knuckles to die just yet, but since we have Knuckles, we're gonna have to just say adios to him now. Um, unless I can figure out a backup to save my get knuckles later and fix his order, um, we're kind of in a pickle here, but I don't know, I guess that would make it exciting, because I have no idea what I'm doing now. Okay, so, normally we'll have, tail, uh, we'll have Tails and Sonic here, but we don't have that right now, so we'll see what we can do here. Ow. Get away from me. Get up here. Tails makes good use of this level. Just, um, uh, it's semi-vertical, so he can make, uh, some sections relatively easier. Normally we would grab Fire Shield, but since we don't have Sonic to make use of that ability just yet, we probably would just skip it for now. Actually, hold on, give me... no, okay. For a second I was thinking there would have been a... Can I get this box? Oh no. Platform, come back, please. There we go, okay. Chris is averted. Currently on a blind mission to find this swap box. So this is what you not want to do in an encore mode run: is mess up your character order. We want tails for this, so we can fly over this. Which skips. Not the boss, but the level section. So, so in this game, if if a if a capsule or a signpost is blocked off by um, by the boss death, so if that's the case, then we still have to defeat the boss, even though we went past him. So unfortunately, we still have to do the boss normally. I did that. Not count as a hit. Interesting. Approaching Act 2. Um, there's a very tricky partner clip coming up. Normally, I can just say we just get to the corner of a ceiling and part call our partner. But this ceiling has rotating sp um, spike balls, which is the one you just saw right there. We're gonna have the partner clip there, so make sure we time it just right. There we go. Ow. Don't do that to me. So I believe there's a swap box later on here. I believe so. That can switch to Sonic. So, a good reason we want Sonic for here is he makes quick work on the boss fight here. Since the flame dash is very useful. Uh, 
hit this button, please. Thank you. Here we go. Perfect. Uh, yes. Okay. I was actually deciding who to swap off. Alright, so what we have now is we're going to have to make sure to get to... Knuckles later. But we're, we might have to improvise here because we want to have Knuckles for later. What I might do is something a little different. Hmm. But we'll see what happens. Oh, that's unfortunate. I didn't even get to use the ability. You know what? I decided I'm gonna kill off Sonic here. Knuckles is important later. Kill me. Okay. Now let's make sure not to kill Tails. There we go. Okay. Sorry, so I'm gonna want to have Knuckles later. But since Sonic's in the way, um, I wouldn't have him by this level. So we're gonna have to get Knuckles later. And swap them off. So that's the plan here. So we're gonna do this level a bit differently than I would have hoped to do this. Sonic can do this level very fast, but I'm gonna have to opt not to have him for now. This is a level you don't want to go below route since it's incredibly slow. So you want to be on top route at all times. There. I'm gonna wait this. Okay, so there's a very s tricky boss skip coming up, and we're gonna actually try to lose a lot of rings at this act because we're gonna do another death collision glitch. So. Doing it, and we're gonna skip this boss in a way where we're gonna have to, we're gonna have our rings transfer over from Act One. So we're gonna want to make sure to have our ring counts low. And over here, this is the sole reason why we have knuckles for this boss skip here. With a time to death, you can skip um, transitions of the next act. Normally, if you would die at a later point, you would soft lock. If you died at an earlier point, you would just resume back to a, a checkpoint in Act One. So promptly, we skip the boss fight without worrying about any any penalty. So that's a really good thing. Now I think we've come to. The hardest boss skip in Encore mode is a very precise, one precise partner clip and a precise death cancel, which is a four frame window. So this is going to be a little difficult to pull off. Let's see if I get it. If I die, I did not get it. Well, obviously, but that means I did it too early. If I don't get hit at all, then it's late. So this is a boss skip I was expecting to get stuck at for a while, since it's easily the more the most um, tightest one to get. So we'll try this again. Ah. Oh. Come on, Tails. Chess again. Come on, Ray. Don't be like that. Alright. I might as well just keep going for it till I get it. 
At the most, at most, I'll just uh, be here for a while. But honestly, it shouldn't take too long. But I just didn't expect to get it first try. That's is actually a really rare thing to get a first try. It's not that easy. I mean, you can, but it's very precise. Try this again. <laughs> Come on. Okay, I'm actually hitting it too early. So this is a little unfortunate. Give me your power, Ray. Be a sport and die the right way. I may go for this one or two more times, because if I've if I'm gonna be here for this long then I might as well just play through the level normally. I did not expect to get the same frame four times in a row. This is a little unfortunate. Uh, Tails come back here. There we go, that's what I wanted. So, this is the third time we see Death Collision, and we're gonna wrap around, and hopefully I can get this boss skip. Yeah, it's, it's a really precise one, though. Easily the hardest skip in Encore. Time right there. And hold to the right. So what this does is we're gonna be right past the capsule. So now we're right behind it. We want to get tails to hit this capsule. Tails, where are you? No! Hit the capsule, you fool! There you go. <laughs> There's a chance if he's more center inside that capsule, he would get stuck, and I would have to do the boss. Thankfully, that didn't happen, though. Also, this is a, a thing. I won't skip it just for this. Hi, Eggman. Bye, Eggman. Okay. So we're going to have one more death collision glitch here. It's the most recent thing found. Uh. Oh, uh, whoops. So we're so there's a trigger here that would have the camera. Actually, let me restart. There's a trigger here that would um have the screen lock rise up. But if we approach, if we have our partner pass through this trigger, tails, where are you going? We can have. The death barrier, more higher up. Uh, this is actually not great. Come on. Okay, let me restart again. This is actually taking longer than I should. Ugh, get off me. Come on, Tails, get hit in the other side. 
Alright, we're gonna restart again. It's not as precise, it's just the uh, Tails needs to cooperate. Which he has not. Ugh. Alright, let's just do it this way. I should have done this long ago. There we go, that's what I wanted. Oh, no, it didn't work. Alright, this is pretty bad. I need to be stuck in this for this long. Alright, we'll restart. This unfortunate practice doesn't carry over to the actual run itself. Alright, that's what I wanted like 10 years ago. So now the death plane is a bit higher up, so we can hit this bumper on the wall and the death plane at the same time. Like so. Spin that to the left. And wrap around. Except we're not wrapping vertically, we're wrapping we're wrapping horizontally. This is a more uh I'm sorry, we're not wrapping horizontally, but vertically. This is a more vertical base level, so we just need to fall at a point. And just we'll get right to the to the boss. So because of this glitch, this fight is a little busted in terms of <laughs> where the screen is and the gravity. So it, make, it actually makes the fight much easier, skipping it this way. So I guess that's a plus. Approaching the last level. This is Partner Clip Central. Normally this is, would be rough of roughly 3 minute level. This will be reduced to a minute, a minute or so, if things go right. Ray, hello. There you go. Uh, need tails to kind of get away. I'm gonna do another partner clip here, so I need him out of the way. There we go. Another partner clip here. This is an interesting one. Normally, if you enter these areas, it will close off one room. Entering the final room of the second room and partner clipping to the third actually skips the third room despite not even doing it Which is pretty funny and also we want to do one final partner clip. So we're gonna have Ray kind of go away here There we go That's the rat last partner clip in the run So Things go well time should be a minute from now So these tentacles are conducts electricity, but with lightning shield we don't have to worry about this at all. So once the weak point is revealed, just get your hits in. Um, after two reveals, he will send us to uh, a heavy phase, which in the original Mania this was possible to be skipped, but plus they made it impossible to skip these phases. So we just have to endure this. Ok, 
Just seven more hits. One, two, three, four. Time is coming up shortly. One, two, time. I think I've shown a good amount of... If you have your characters, the right ones at that, um, the run can go very well. But if your, <laughs> if your lineup goes wrong at any point, things go horribly wrong, as shown there. And also, hard skips here and there. But all in all, it was not bad. Sub-50 was kind of what I was aiming for. But yeah, that's Encore mode. Um, I believe Big John is up next doing Link to the Past, so stay tuned for that. Um, but yeah, I'm Joey BB. Uh, thanks for watching, everyone.
Yo, what up, Joey? Yo, what up, Joey? Yo, sorry on the delayed timer right there. Yo, sorry on the delayed timer right there. So we're gonna split. Joey, thank you for the phenomenal show. We're gonna get. Joey, thank you. Set up. We got Big John coming up next, you guys. Set up. We got Big John coming up next, you guys.